Hi guys and welcome to another video. I am using my laptop today so it may be a little bit blurry and also might shake a little bit because it's just on my lap. And I was just uh, going through some comments and replying to everybody and something that came to my attention was what crochet hooks do you use? Um, someone was talking about crochet hooks and I thought well that's a really good question. I know that everybody uses different crochet hooks. My top favorites are tulips and then my second favorite a very close second is the clover crochet hooks and the clover ones are a good price point uh, the tulip ones are a little bit more expensive and you can get both of these on amazon and i'm going to put some affiliate links in the description box of this video and if you'd like to make a purchase for those crochet hooks just use that link that will take you uh, to Amazon and I get a little bit of commission off your um, purchase. That's not why I made this video but I did want to put that in there because that's how I make my living through affiliate links and through YouTube so if you are going to make a purchase anyway uh, that'd be great if you could use those affiliate links. So yeah like I say my favorites are the tulip hooks. I've got the um, I think it's called Etimo or Etimo and I've got the rose ones. They're the pink ones that come in the set. They've got, I think, scissors and a sewing needle with them. A yarn needle, sorry. Um, yeah, so I really like those. I don't keep them in the case that it came in because I use mine all the time. Mine are just in a little container that's on my – I'm looking over that direction because it's where I do my video tutorial. But it does come with a very handy and very pretty case. And um, the clover ones don't come in a case. They come in like a plastic container. There's like a disposable plastic container that you get when you buy the crochet hooks. Uh, you could store them in there, but it wouldn't last very long. It would probably break within a couple of months of you putting things in and out. But they're really good. I do love them crochet hooks. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones. I think it's called Knit Pro. Or it could be, I think it's different in different countries. It's like Knit Pro or something else. But they've got black handles with a gold, the actual crochet part of it is gold. They're really good too. They're quite a good price point as well. I'm not sure if you can get those on Amazon, but um, if you go through my Amazon link, you can totally search after you've used that link to search for, I think it's Knit Pro. Or, yeah, I think that's the brand. Anyway, they have a black handle with. Yeah, like a gold, I think. They may come in a silver crochet part, like the hook part as well. But I know the ones, I, I can see mine. I know the ones I've got are gold. They're really good. Uh, they have the soft handles as well. They're not as soft as the clover and the the uh, tulip ones, but I do find them pretty good. They've got the bigger grip on them. They don't, they're not just like that single size all the way through. They've got the bigger grip on the handle. So I really like those. Yeah, so which crochet hooks do you use i know there's all different types of crochet hooks that's just three of many many different brands there's in australia you've got birch there's is it aero i think is like the really old brand you've got susan bates um what's it a boil is it b-o-y l-e i think it's spelled there's lots of different brands so i'd really love to know which ones you use and if just in case you're wondering because i know i may get some comments i'm going to put the link to this what i'm wearing in the description box this is actually a knitted scarf sorry no it's a knitted shawl um it's a canadian designer but i'm going to put the link in the description box below i also knitted this jumper this is the flax by Tin Can Knits. It's a very easy pattern. This is the very first one that I, I made. Um, there's loads of mistakes in it, but you know what? It is really good to keep me warm. It's winter here at the moment. Freezing cold today. Well, you're going to laugh if you get really cold weather where you live. It's freezing cold today, and it was about, um, I think it was about 7 degrees Celsius with wind chill. Um, the wind was really cold today, so really cold for me i'm sure if you live in like canada or alaska or somewhere where it gets really cold you're probably thinking that's not cold claire you don't know what cold weather is <laughs> but yeah so yeah i just thought i would do this quick video and i hope you're having a fantastic week let me know your um 
your answers to that question in the comment box below. And if you've got any other questions that you would like me to ask people about, then pop those in the in the not the description box. That's my department. In the comment section below, like if you've got a question about something or um, anything that you would like other people to give a response to, then leave it in the description. Here I go again. That's oh, it's mine. Mine's a description box. Your area is the comment section. So if you would like to leave that question in the comment section, I will be sure to make a video and um, ask everybody what their opinion is on certain things. It's got to be crochet and yarn related, of course. Um, can't be really anything else. Could be food related. We'll take food, crochet, yarn, and everything, anything that relates to the craft. So I hope you're having a great week. See you later. Bye. Happy crochet. See ya.